In this video, you will see our adventure in the east part of Mexico, going to three underground swimming holes in the state of Yucatan and Quintana Roo. So the video that you're about to watch now was actually recorded a while back, but um, I've had some trouble lately, so that's why I haven't been able to uh, upload videos regularly. But if you keep watching uh, the coming videos, you will also get some more information about how I ended up here, where I am at right now, and uh, also a bit more information about uh, my troubles. So before we get into this video, I would like to announce that it's sponsored by Omaze. It's an online fundraising platform that raises money for its nonprofit charities. They also offer a chance to win prizes to support nonprofits around the world. They are giving you a chance to win a 2.6 million dollar Miami dream house or 1.8 million dollars in cash. The house is a 6060 square foot sanctuary with 7 bedrooms, 6 bathrooms and a resort style yard surrounded by lush greenery. Every 34 minutes a wish comes true. Thanks to Make-A-Wish America, the foundation that grants game-changing experiences to children with critical illnesses. So to potentially win a 2.6 million dollar dream house or 1.8 million dollars in cash and at the same time support a great charity, go to omaze.com slash Taudin. It was early in the morning in Mexico and we were about to wake up in a hotel and head out for some adventures. Hello and welcome to another video. We are in the state of Yucatan in Mexico and the town called Valladolid. Today we're gonna be swimming in more cenotes, these uh, swimming holes underground. The rooster has been roosting all night. So the bag is packed. Uh, we're gonna be going to two cenotes first and then come back here and have some breakfast at the hotel. I had been traveling around in Mexico with Maria and we were in the northern part of the Yucatan Peninsula and the east part of the country. In this part of Mexico is where you have several thousand swimming holes underground with super clear water. So we came to the first cenote of the day here. Maria is over there, she's on her way over. It's really green here, really nice uh, area. So there are also some really old Maya ruins here but we're gonna go to the cenote instead uh, there are 6,000 of these swimming holes here in the state of Yucatan in Quintana Roo combined and I think it's one of my favorite things to do in Mexico and especially yeah the east part of Mexico where you have all these cenotes so it's also known that the Mayan people sacrificed humans <laughs> sometimes they threw the remains of the humans into these water wells which is really strange <laughs> Here is the entrance in the middle of nowhere. So here is a little hut where we need to take a shower before we head over here and jump in to the cenotes. We took a shower then started walking over to the incredible opening of the cenote. Some people say that the cenotes were all created from massive meteors that hit earth and created openings. Oh. The steps are really steep here. <laughs> you could easily fall. Oh, it's uneven. Ooh. We're halfway down here, and I think I'm gonna jump before we leave. We're all alone here. Nobody's here. It's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. 
You're gonna swing, swing on the rope. Yeah, but. It's so nice here. We're all alone, and um, the sun is coming through over the bushes over there. It's so nice in the water. I just jumped in. 75 Celsius, uh, 75 Fahrenheit maybe, or um, 22 uh, Celsius. We have some workers swimming over there too. So green. I was planning to jump from the very top, but first I would jump from the halfway mark. Now we're gonna swim a bit and see what we can see under the surface. We swam away to see what we could find, and Maria had been going down pretty deep. Soon we also discovered some roots of trees that were sticking down into the water. swam under some of the roots and found some fish that looked really old. You could totally see that they had been around for a long time. There are so many incredible and strange things in this world and nobody can explain where anything comes from. We swam away to the other side of the cenote and I found some inner tubes of tires then headed up to the very top part of the cenote to jump in. Time to jump! <laughs> We enjoyed the sun for a bit before we got ready to head out again. When you were standing right here, this Leaving now. We have to go back and eat some breakfast <laughs> and check out of the hotel. So we came back here to the hotel real quick to eat some breakfast and then um, we'll be going to some more cenotes. It was a really nice hotel, $50 per night, really new and modern. I swam in the swimming pool here the other day, but it was raining so much then. Now it's a bit more sunshine. We finished the breakfast, then headed out again on our way to the next cenote. We're on the way to Tulum and we can see the rain falling over here and now it's gonna come in like two seconds. Oh here it comes. Oh, rain, rain, rain. Uh, you can see nothing. Oh. You can see more from the GoPro. So this is what it's like in the summer here, usually in Mexico in the state of Yucatan. Mostly I think. Uh, last year we were also driving to some cenotes and uh, we had some crazy rains like this. Out on one of the roads here, just outside of Tulum, and uh, we're trying to find this cenote. There's a guy here in front of us. We are here at Cenote Semway. We're gonna be jumping from uh, from the platform here into the cenote.
Now Maria is gonna jump here. I think. Can I go? Yeah. We're gonna go down and do the rope swing now. We just both jumped. There's a rope swing also in the cave here. This cenote had such incredible blue water and I find it really strange that there are so many underground aquifers with super clear water in this part of Mexico. This cenote did not only have a platform to jump from, but also a really fun rope swing. The best part about visiting these cenotes is always the scenery under the surface with the clear water. We're leaving the cenote now. It was a really good time here. I'm so happy that the sun is out. <laughs> Feels really good actually. On to the next one, on to the next and all them. Esto por persona son 250 pesos o 17 dólares. Okay. okay, this will be the last cenote for today. Uh, cenote Calavera. It's a really famous one here in Tulum. So many cars everywhere here. It's actually located right by Tulum. And Tulum is arguably one of the most famous towns in all of Mexico, I think. So here in the town of Tulum, or the cenotes, actually a lot of the cenotes, they want to take the chance to get more money. So they charge like 10, 15, 20 dollars if you want to bring in a camera. And here I just saw a sign, 20 dollars if you want to bring in a GoPro. This one was a bit different, more like a cavern, but also with smaller openings into the underground world. Alright, now we're gonna jump into this cenote here. It's like a hole and you just uh, jump in. Now we're gonna jump in to the swimming hole here. There's so many people, it's all packed here. There were some different chambers and also really cool with the last part of the sunlight coming through from the opening. Now Maria is gonna drive again because I'm not allowed to drive. <laughs> we are done swimming now and we're about to return. Uh, head back to Playa del Carmen. It was really nice. Three cenotes today again. <laughs> really good time. Did you like the cenote? I did, yeah. It was really nice. It would have looked really cool if the sun was out more. Um, but we got here a little bit later but yeah, I liked it a lot. No crashes with the rental car yet, but we still have uh, 20 minutes left. Coca-Cola, but um, no sugar this time, so we don't get uh, more cavities. Turn left. Not here, next one. 
If you want to support my video making, I have created a website with hoodies, t-shirts, hats and other types of merchandise that you can buy from swedish-sheep.com. There are a lot of sheep in Sweden and it's my favorite animal, so that's why I chose that name. I might not upload any videos for some time again until I sort certain things out. But thank you very much for watching and also please leave the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I will be back again and reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers. Thanks again for watching.